Guys, what is going on? Alex7 here. Welcome back to another TDUSC video. And trust me, you might want to take this in because this is going to be one of the craziest videos I've uploaded on the recent news. And we missed it. But let's talk about it right now. And a huge shout out to a Discord server for helping me find this out. Now, I do want to note, in the screenshot, which we've already gone over, we know exactly where it is. This is located at the center, in front of this big building in Hong Kong Island. But if you want to zoom in, and I can't believe none of us saw this, but there is this sign. A house with a magnifying glass and some words next to it. Now, you're, you're probably going to be like, okay, Alex, where are you going with this? Well... Huge shout out to r slash Chinese language. I went over to that Reddit, joined the Discord server, and had someone reply. I got an image of this, and I said, hey, can anyone help translate this? It's a bit blurry, I know, but best I can get. And someone, and I'm not, I don't want to say his name just in case he doesn't even want to be in this video, but you know who you are. You replied with the translation, and it's real estate agency. Bro, real estate agency agency guys i think that pretty much shows that houses will be confirmed in test drive the soul crown again take this with a grain of salt because we just don't know but at the same time it is a screenshot and there is a very nice sign right in front of it so you know it could be it guys it really could be i mean there's not really much else you can go off of but hey Real estate agency, a house with a magnifying glass. I think that's going to be pointing to something, guys, you know? So again, the translation is real estate agency, and this could actually be the logo for the real estate agency located on Hong Kong Island. But now that I've gone through that part of the video, guys, I want to take you through Hong Kong Island and show you some of the places that I think we would end up having these apartments or houses. Again, we don't know fully, but... I think this is the closest thing to houses confirmation we will ever get and houses are a very key thing to the TDU franchise. I don't think KT are going to leave it out especially since it was in TD1 and TD2 and we all know Alan Janu is the one who was developing both of those previous games. I'm sure he'd want to keep that same formula in TDU SC. Plus, I mean, we all know TDU is also a lifestyle game. What is a lifestyle if you just live in a hotel? You get what I'm saying? Okay, so here we are, lovely Hong Kong Island, guys. I'm going to show you around where I think we're going to get some of the best houses and apartments within this island. Because like I said, real estate agency, something like that, I'm sure KT don't give us stuff just for, uh, you know, for us to look at once, guys. Just for the past, like couple of trailers and news press releases we've always had to look deeper into whatever they show us to get more information and i think that hasn't changed at all and i really do love it because it could be a whole month after we got news and we'd all be like yo hold on hold on a second i think this is it but yeah let's take a look at some of these houses now right here I think is going to be one of them. Now you gotta remember, in Test Drive Limited 2, we had both houses and apartments. So having one right here, it's kind of, you know, in the middle, it has a little road leading up to it as well. I mean, you even go by a lake right here actually as well. So that's pretty interesting. I think this would be one of the best places to have a house. If you have one here, I mean, it would make sense if you could buy a unit in one of these. But you have a view looking here, which would be incredible. I'd love to see if someone even has a picture of anything here. Probably not. Okay. But you could also take a view of this side of the island as well. And could you imagine the views you'd get out looking this? Yo, come on. This would be a beautiful location. You can even look through on this side. And the one thing I got to say... This really does look like Oahu, guys. The amount of green you see, some of the rows in the distance, like... KT did make a good choice picking Hong Kong Island. It is one nice, one hell of an island in all fairness. But anyways, that is one of the locations I think we could be seeing. Now, we all know the Solar Crown Hotel is located right here. It's going. They're basically going to move all of these soccer pitches and build the Solar Hotel right here, which is a little bit to the right of this. And maybe I need to go back on the trailer. Maybe we could actually see the Solar Crown Hotel in the trailer. I'm going to check back on that a bit later but yeah the solar hotel is right there so it is possible that we actually have real estate near this because 
in TDU2, there was more than one real estate agency and that would have and cover different areas of uh, Oahu or Ibiza. So that being said, maybe this real estate agency covers just the downtown area and then there's one on the other side of the island like here where you can actually see more. Their possibilities are honestly endless. Now, if I was going to pick a place downtown, honestly, it could be anywhere, guys. You know, you, you never really know, but anywhere along here, you would still get some crazy views, not as high as the Solar Hotel, though, but you get some crazy views of mainland Hong Kong. Now, if you go around to the other side of the island, there is this island that comes off Hong Kong Island. It's Apple Show. I don't think I said that right. I was probably with a bit of a uh, French accent. But anyways... There are some apartments here that if you were to overlook them, it's just beautiful water, a couple of uh, islands in the distance. Like, we would have some pretty nice views no matter where you slap down an apartment, guys. But not only that, I think one of the biggest things is if you had a house up on Victoria Peak. Now, again, if you guys remember my Assetto Course video, this is where the road ends when you do Victoria Peak. It literally ends at this exact same looking building in the game. But uh, you could probably drive up. I think these, yeah, these are also apartments, bro. Imagine you're pretty damn high up as well, you know. It'd be fun if they had a house at the top of Victoria Peak. I, I honestly couldn't tell you where. But maybe like right here. Yeah, I would want to say right here. Could you goddamn imagine having a view <laughs> overlooking this? Guys. I'm so hyped to see what KT have done for houses in TDSC again. Grain of salt, we don't actually know if it's confirmed or not, but I think a little icon with a house and a magnifying glass in a screenshot that says real estate agency is most likely going to be in the game. They will just throw in something like that without, you know, actually making it so. Come on, we all know we always have to look further and deeper into whatever KT gives us for more information and houses is a huge thing and that's the funny thing there are people who are like yo we still haven't got houses have we i think we may have just gotten houses guys the translation is literally right there real estate agency what more could it possibly be could kt be trolling us i don't think so guys i don't think so so anyways that's that pretty exciting um there are again more apartments on the uh eastern side of the island following me through pretty damn far as well i mean you can see here guys i'm sure there would be an apartment on this side of the island uh what else do we have there are some houses along here which unfortunately not really 3d so i can't tell you near shekel village and there are some houses here as well and i think if i can drag and drop we'll see what type of houses these are but it's like three rows of houses all coming along i think it's possible we will see something like this in TDUSC, maybe we can buy one of these houses along that route because again, you'd also get a pretty nice view. And I mean, you also got an apartment on this side, the southern side of the island, flying throughout. So there are a ton of different locations that we can have these houses or apartments, guys. I cannot wait. Like, imagine this, bro. This is a mansion, you know. This is an apartment. This is literally. A house if we can just stop right here and there's a drive up hold on i think we gotta get some test drive vibes in bro can we actually go up this that would be pretty crazy hold on because i did see hold on hold on hold on what we got here okay so i think it's just broken i think it's just broken guys but for a second i thought we could drive into one of those houses i mean even look at this way what is this is this just like one of those places you can drive up Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. We can't even go up it, but yeah, <laughs> that is literally... Imagine doing a drift all the way up to the top of your house. Come on, man. Guys, there is so much potential, I cannot wait. We might actually get one of the best uh, house-situated island. Is that really something I could say, a phrase like that? Yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, though. Is this confirmation of a real estate agency? Let me know. I can't honestly. You guys know, I'm not trying to have another Tenerife moment, but this is pretty much more along the lines of a realistic thing than Tenerife. So we're just going to wait and see. Other than that, I'm Max7. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out. Peace.